Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this month, I let you know that Microsoft was beginning to roll out an update for the Microsoft Copilot app for Windows Insiders that replaces the previous Copilot progressive web app with a so-called native version, according to Microsoft. Now, just to let you know that I have noticed today in my region that with the latest updates to the Copilot app on Windows 11, that the so-called native version of the app is now available for the stable version of Windows 11 and I'm not noticing it on Windows 10. Uh, with the update to Insiders, Microsoft said it, said it would be rolling out to Windows 10. So obviously this is on a controlled rollout, but I'm only seeing it currently on my Windows 11 device. Now, first of all, um, as mentioned, Microsoft says it's native. But that's a bit in question because as I mentioned in that previous video, I said is it really native? Because the reason for saying this is that um, it still loads copilot.microsoft.com and is based on the Microsoft Edge web view, which um, is very um, closely related to the actual web browser. So at this stage, there's no big significant difference being a so-called native app compared to the PWA, which it was um, before this update. So that's the first um, little change that is a little bit in question. And another reason for saying that it's not really native, although Microsoft calls it a native app, is if we head over to Edge and we head to our apps, we can see it's still installed as a PWA in Microsoft Edge. And if I head over to Manage Apps, there we go. So that's a little bit in question being a so-called native app um, because all the signs of, of it still being a a progressive web app are still yeah even after this update now after that just i'm um, focusing on a couple of other changes now after installing the copilot app update when you run copilot you will now see it appear in your system tray so there we go copilot so even if you close the actual app there's still an instance of it running in the system tray so you can double click on that to open the app again, the actual main window, or you can open full, open quick view, you can quit the app, and so on. Now, while we are talking about quick view, if we open it up into a full web page or a full app window, um, there is a new shortcut which is related to the new quick view. So you can access the new quick view for Copilot by using the Alt and Space keyboard shortcut on Windows 10 and Windows 11 PCs, which as mentioned, I haven't seen this yet on Windows 10, so it's still on a controlled rollout. So using Alt and Space, we can see it pops open the Quick View, which is very similar to a so-called smaller start menu or smaller search for Windows 11. And I actually quite like this because you'll be able to move the Quick View window. So there we go. We can actually move this around our screen, which I think is a very nice move, no pun intended. And you can also resize this quick view window, um, which just gives you a little bit more functionality and choice and preference, which I'm always in favor of and for when it comes to Windows operating systems and browsers and so on. And to go back to the main Copilot app window, you just press this little icon here to the top left corner of the quick view window. And there we go. We go back to full view. So you get the general idea. And Microsoft does say that PCs um, with the dedicated Copilot key will open the Copilot app up in the main window. Okay, so if you've got a Copilot key and um, it won't launch Quick View, it's going to open up in the main window and then you'll still have to use Alt and Space to get back to Quick View. So just a couple of changes, although Microsoft says it's more native. That's a bit in question, but nonetheless, I do like this quick view. So if you are using Copilot, just putting it out there in case you're unaware. But something else I have also noticed um, while we are talking about um, the changes and so on to the app is it does use a little bit more RAM compared to the so-called PWA. So if we just head to our task manager... And here we can see Copilot. Let's just wait for that to settle down. We can see it's using 385, 84 megabytes of RAM. And Microsoft Edge is using 297, so about 300. So it's using more memory than Microsoft Edge itself, which I think is a little bit extreme. 
And that's because Microsoft has bundled the new Copilot with a dedicated WebView 2, as mentioned, which basically is almost like running a new instance of Microsoft Edge. So with this new so-called native app, you are running then two instances of Microsoft Edge, as we can see with more or less the same, well, Copilot's actually using more, but give or take more or less the same RAM usage. So that's a little bit in question as well. So what you may want to do if you are using a so-called low-end device is just make sure that if you have closed Copilot, just make sure that you quit the instance running from the system tray because obviously that's running in the background, so it could use more um, resources. So there's a bit of a performance question here in regards to uh, maybe low-end machines where it could consume a little bit more RAM. But nonetheless, um, that's the new so-called native Copilot app that's running out with the new quick view, which I'm actually like that quick view, but obviously one or two things in question regarding this update um, for Copilot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.